water pipe smoking is much more harmful than one cigarette. And people get addicted to smoking water pipe the same way or, mean, or sometimes more than they get addicted when they smoke cigarette, depending on the number that they smoke per day. So this whole idea of all the toxins are dissolved in the water and all people, including youth and mothers and even pregnant women, were smoking it thinking that this is a healthy way of smoking. Our research showed that this is a myth and it's not true. For us to do the chemical analysis as chemists, we needed a robot to smoke the water pipe or to smoke the electronic cigarettes. And we use it to collect chemicals on the filters and then they give me the chemicals to do the analysis. And we were the first people to put the method of how to smoke water pipe out in the world. And this is called the Beirut method. So the Beirut method became the trademark of our lab at the time we started thinking about IP, the university didn't have an IP office. So we kind of started learning together. What does it mean to have an IP? How do we file a patent? When do we talk to a lawyer? How do we sell this? What is royalty? So all of this were, were things that we had to think about together with the university. And then after we have initiated this, this process, the university established an IP office and they started promoting this idea at the university among youth, among students, and also among professors. I never felt that I need to compete with men, but I always wanted a woman's perspective in science. And that's different. We work with passion. I'm sure a lot of men do that, but we look at it from our own perspective. I don't want to say it's different. I'm saying that we have a lot to offer to science, and that's why we need parity in science, because we can look at the question from two different angles, and we can create more and more solutions. I personally went against all advices and followed my heart to do actionable research and to do research that is more relevant to local people, meaning to Lebanon and the region. In my current job as a parliamentarian in the Lebanese government, I really want to bring the logic of science into the parliament, and I want to be a good advocate of youth. I would like to encourage youth in my country to be more creative, more innovative. I want them to know about IP. I want to protect their rights and I also want them to become rich. I have no doubt that the youth in Lebanon are super creative. We have the best brains that usually go out from Lebanon to excel. We want them in Lebanon. We want them part of the solution, but we also want to protect their rights. This is my next challenge.